um, the weather was um, interesting on McBain. Um, I think it was the worst weather I've ever come across on a production. So the changeability of the weather throughout this, this produ particular production was was like th something I've never seen before. So that meant picking up a Artem smoke gun and then running around the field. So you'd start off at one end of the field with the wind going in one direction and then suddenly it would change and you'd have to run across the field to another base and then drop down at a camera as quickly as possible, which often meant lying in a puddle or in a pile of mud. Because, you know, you're doing, you're doing smoke, you're doing rain, you're doing uh, wind itself. Um, it can be your best friend, it can work with you as 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 you know, as greatly as it can be one other team really, or it can be it can be your worst enemy and you can just do nothing but work against you throughout the, the whole day. After three hours you learn that waterproofs aren't necessarily waterproof for very long um, when it's constant rain. However revolting the weather was, they kept filming. <laughs> and there were occasions when we as a crew would look at the, the day ahead and go how are we going to film in this? <laughs> and there was a particular day in Sky where the day before we'd set up most of the um, equipment needed um, from our point of view, which was a bit of mist, and there was a burning pyre of children's bodies. Um, during February and early March, really in the, in the heart of winter. So the, the weather was, I mean, it was appalling to say a word. Um, it was the worst certainly I'd experienced on, on location for myself um, and so keeping keeping track of the effects needed and meeting the brief that was set out to us very early on um, was on certain days certainly you know as, as changeable as the weather can be in in, uh, in just the UK alone um, you know it became a, a constant battle really to to complete what was set out to us for that day the weather on that day was bad enough and the following day when we were filming there, it was atrocious. Uh, there was literally horizontal sleet. Um, it was freezing. Uh, it was wet. It, it, and, and the people going up the hill really didn't think we were going to film. They even wondered why, in a way, they were going up the hill because they thought, well, we're going up this hill, but you know, we're, we're all we're going to do is turn back down. You know. But no, no, <laughs> we carried on. <laughs> and the filming happened and it flowed. and. Uh, but it was it was a horrendous day that no one I'm sure will forget. Uh, there, there was a, a sort of boggy marshy area as well, which didn't help, and the, and the, it, it was almost dangerous. But it, you know, there were all, there were sort of puddles in the moss, which looked like a few inches deep uh, holes. I mean, six foot holes filled with water, and they were perfect like barrels of water just in the ground. And people would just, you'd, you'd be talking to someone and they'd just disappear. And I stepped in one and I, I vanished. One one leg, luckily, only I went and uh, vanished up to my thigh. I, you know, I'd <laughs> and I rocketed straight back out. <laughs> um, but it was a, a horrible day. It's, it's <laughs> and, you know, it's sleeting at the time. It's raining. We we're, we're stood like, we stood cowering next to each other, just like emperor penguins for warmth. And we stood eventually in a line, one behind the other, like penguins in the Antarctic. And once the person at the back who was taking the brunt of the freezing wind uh, couldn't take it anymore, they shuffled to the front and we just rotated round in that way. <laughs> um, you know, there were a few people taken off the hill with hypothermia uh, and I'm sure there were people still on the hill braving it out who probably had hypothermia too. Um, and I, I felt sorry for Marion Cotillard because she was on a horse with her maid. Um, they, they didn't have a vast amount on. They weren't sort of wrapped in furs particularly. You know, she must have been freezing. You know, the wind was, uh, you know, forever changeable. It would uh, blow, be blowing one way uh, for one scene, blowing the completely other way for another scene. And uh, there was really nothing we, that could have been done. The, the gales were so strong and gusty. You do. Uh, I remember one night scene we were filming, and uh, we were pumping out reams and reams of smoke. You know, absolutely tons. We we're going through liters and liters throughout this night scene, and filling the the village uh, kind of of Inverness um, with a good level of heavy smoke. You know, it's a it was a beautiful uh, 
one of the clearest nights actually that we had through filming and uh, the wind was kind of constantly a nice steady breeze uh, from kind of left to right or east to west and uh, <coughs> all of a sudden it stopped and uh, I got on the radio and said uh, what's going on to my, my man on the on the smoke machine and he was like uh, you know is there a problem why is the smoke stopped and uh, he said no it's still, the smoke's still coming it's just not going anywhere the wind had completely died right in the middle of the shot and uh, you know, we're there and uh, he's just pumping out smoke and I'm like alright keep it pumping keep it pumping we'll see what happens <clears throat> and about 10 seconds later this uh, this kind of this cloud billows in <laughs> really slowly <laughs> you could you could walk faster than it and I mean this thing drifts in across the across this village very slowly and it's it's just dense uh, you can't see your hand in front of your face and this is all all in the middle of the shot <laughs> and you know, there's just nothing we could have done I, I, asked, I got my guy to just hold off on the smoke and uh, we, we just tried to Try to, we just had to sit it out. We just there was nothing you, you could do. You know, as much as we'd like to be able to control the, the weather and the wind, uh, you just can't. It's a, it's an uncontrollable force of nature, really. Um, so working working around all that, uh, you know, you can look back on it with a kind of humour and uh, and laugh about it. But at the time, you know, it's uh, it's it's very challenging, very difficult shooting in, environment, really. The rain and the cold affected us quite a lot on set. Um, on the day, you have to make sure that there's no rain beading on your prosthetic. And it's also quite difficult when you're trying to set up a blood rig. Um, if your fingers are starting to freeze, then it makes it quite difficult to put blood tubing onto syringes and stuff like that, especially when you're trying to turn over pretty quickly. Um, it does make it quite difficult. But everybody stuck it out and everyone got through it. Um, and the high point of the day was when we actually lit the, the fire which was burning all the bodies, which is quite near the beginning of the film. Um, and everyone could feel the heat emanating from it. I mean, it, it just cheered everybody up, I think. It would be you know, beautiful blue skies and no wind. And then all of a sudden this cloud would roll in. It would be sleet and hail and wind and gales and just gusts that we couldn't, we couldn't possibly fight against or let them fathom and <laughs> try and prepare for. Um, so, you yeah, know, the, the weather was... Uh, it was brutally cold and we were one time in the sky uh, we were doing some filming and this uh, it suddenly the rain got really heavy and the wind picked up and it was just it was horrific weather you're, you're standing there out in the middle and you're prepping gear and doing doing uh, the effects work and I, was, I was kind of looking up at this cliff face and I was wondering why the rain suddenly got heavier I looked up and I saw this waterfall cascading off the cliff top and it wasn't it wasn't falling down it was it was just carrying on horizontally out across and then just falling on top of us so this huge that's how strong the wind was it was whipping up and you do actually see a bit of it in the film i remember that one particular waterfall very well so after about six hours of lying in a wet field um, being rained on constantly you realize that your waterproofs are no longer waterproof um, so at one point i was actually sent back to camp to dry off and change my clothes so i could come back and actually function as a human being. We just dealt with the weather. You know, when there was bad weather, we just uh, put up with it. And it became part of the film, because it, it certainly gave the right impression of being cold, miserable, Scottish, you know, barren landscape. Uh, it was certainly a challenge, but, uh, but we pulled through just. <laughs>